I think so. Ah, hold on. I'm trying to get the hang of this. Hold on. Hello. Oh, it's not working. Okay, so I have to do it. Apparently, I'm just going to have to hold this. Anyway, this is my very first, or my, literally my second video Facebook Live. I'm so excited to be coming to you from my car. If you follow me on Periscope, you know this is where I do most of my live streaming because it's quiet and yeah. So my name is Attorney LaKanya Murray. I am the small business attorney and I'm coming to you very quick. This was really by accident. I didn't even know I had... Um, um, Facebook Live until just a moment ago. So I'm going to share the same message that I just shared, which is value over pricing. Value over pricing. If you're having problems with sales, if you're having problems with people, you know, not getting past the how much is your product thing, then I just want this video, this very, very quick video is for you. Hey, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments who you Okay, still there. I hit the wrong button. But no, so we're talking value over pricing. So if you're stuck in your pricing, if you're worried and people aren't getting past the, the dollar amount, I just want to share with you something that I just heard um, just a moment ago. So, backstory: I'm sitting in the kitchen and I'm waiting on my husband and my daughters are on the iPad and they're watching Arthur. Do you guys remember the TV show, the cartoon Arthur with the animal f characters, friends, whatever, Arthur's the main character, he has a sister named D.W.? Well, in this episode, he is trying to um, raise money for the dog shelter, but he's not doing a very good job of it. He gets discouraged because he's only raised three dollars for the dog shelter who really, they really need the money. Um, and so his little sister, um, D.W. says, well, Arthur, everyone knows you don't sell the pudding, you sell the wiggle. And he's like, what does that mean? It means that you got to have a story. You have to give them a reason to buy. Give your customers a reason to buy. Give your prospects a reason to buy. You talk about your value. You talk about the value that you're going to give, not just the, not just the price. So when people talk to me and they want to know how much my product is, I never just say, "Oh, my product is X amount of dollars." I always talk to them first about what's included what's entailed. I talk about the process and then I tell them what I do and by the time we get to the, the how much it actually costs, they're like, oh, okay. And they're ready. They're open to receive it. Versus giving the dollar amount first and then trying to talk about the value. Once you give that dollar amount, and especially if it's a high ticket item, then people tend to tune out. And they don't hear anything you say after you said that you had to pay X amount of dollars. So that's why you always, always talk from a value standpoint. Even when you're pricing your products, when you're just coming up with your price, part of your homework should be listing the value of your products. Okay? So that's what I want you to do, especially if you're having problems selling or closing. I want you to go through and for each product or service that you have, list six value points. What are the six top things people will get from this by buying this product or, or using this service? Okay, that's all that I have for you. This it was really quick. This is my first video live or Facebook live and I just wanted to share. I'm really excited. I will talk to you guys later.